Morning. Welcome to another episode of How to Build a Dinghy in Your Dining Room. Um, so this is my dining room and this is a 10 foot dinghy that I'm building here. Uh, so last time I was here, I fixed on the keel. So that is now rigidly attached, which is good. Um, and then I filleted the sides. Um, and so that is now been curing for about a week, if not more. And so my plan for this uh, episode is to get that all sanded and fill in um, this fillet because it is a little bit rough with some um, fairing compound, get that nice and smooth so it will glide through the water smoothly and then get this all sanded down so it's absolutely flat and then get three coats of epoxy onto it. One or two other little jobs that I can do a lot at the same time. So uh, the bow painter is going to be attached just by putting a, a line through a hole in the bow and then tying a knot on the inside and the outside. And, and I wasn't quite sure what diameter to do that, but I had a 10 millimeter drill. Um, but I would actually like to use a line like this. That's just too big to go through the, the hole. So I'm going to have to enlarge that and then give that three coats as well. So if I enlarge that first, it means I can give that three coats at the same time as I'm doing the keel, just with a little, little brush. So uh, that's going to get done. Uh, and I've also finally, um, after many weeks of looking and thinking about it, found some paint. So, um, I finally sourced the paint from fine boat kits because, you know, these guys are selling boat kits to build and they didn't hatch, actually sell one that I liked quite as well as this one, but they do sell um, all the consumables when I've bought some from them before. So I've decided to buy the paint there as well. Um, I've got marine primer undercoat, white. Um, and I've got a marine gloss in ivory white and these are one litre tins so I've got another one litre tin of undercoat so that's two litres of undercoat I've also got another tin of marine gloss so that's one two three four so two litres of each so that should be enough to paint the boat and hopefully that will all be beautiful. Um, so this weekend is the start of prepping the surface. So finishing off the keel and getting that surface prepped to make it as smooth as possible. So any area where there's bumps and indentations, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna fare over that with some fairing compound uh, and then that'll get sanded down next time. Um, uh, and I've also got some um, <clears throat> light gray anti-slip. So this is basically, I was thinking of using some of this on the inside in a couple of key places just so that when people are inside the boat, their feet are not going to be slipping around. So um, yeah, a bit of anti-slip, probably not going to need that much, but it only comes in a litre tin. And then of course, I've got some yacht and seaplane varnish. So the idea is any wood that I want to leave exposed, I can't just leave the epoxy exposed to the sun because it will degrade. So I need to give it um, probably, I don't know how many coats, three, five, let's see. Um, so I've got a litre of varnish because there's not going to be that much wood. But I'm not going to be using that for probably two or a couple of weeks yet, maybe two or three weeks. Because, yeah, I've got to finish prepping the boat. So, uh, so yeah, still quite a lot of work to do first before the paint can go on. But at least now I've got it ready. And that's possibly going to give me a bit of incentive to get cracking on. So uh, there we go. So I'll just finish my coffee and uh, then I'll get cracking. And for now, I'm going to start working on the keel. So uh, I want to get that nice and smooth, nice and flat. So I'm going to plane it first. Not plain, I'm going to surf on first because the plane doesn't work very well with this wood. Don't know why, it just digs in and takes big lumps off. So I'm going to use the surf form and then um, probably block sanding it, hand sand. So a hand, hand block sandpaper on it and try and get it as flat and true as possible. And then I'm going to crack on with the, uh, the fillets, getting those um, covered with fairing compound. Uh, and probably this area just in front of the keel as well, just get it all of the whole of this bottom area as smooth and um, 
as smooth as possible to make so it can flow through the water without any, um, any resistance. Okay, let's crack on. Morning. Okay, well, uh, overnight I've left these fillets covered in fairing compound and uh, this morning I was hoping to sand these off because um, even though it's only a short time overnight, this is a fast cure epoxy. So um, and I thought that because it's fast, it would be set overnight, but uh, I've just had a quick sand this morning and it's not, it's still, it still hasn't fully cured. I can, it's actually soft to put my nail onto it. Um, it's going off, but just very slowly. I guess it's been cold overnight, so um, it's been too cool, I think. So, um, 
my plans to get that sanded uh, and then epoxy the keel today uh, isn't going to happen. So um, I'm basically going to need to do some other little jobs. So, um, so far, uh, <laughs> I've just <laughs> re-drilled uh, the bow hole. And the idea is that I can just pass this 12 millimeter rope um, through the hole like that and tie a knot in the end and then that will be the painter. Um, obviously this hole needs to be re-epoxied on the inside to keep it waterproof. I think quite a lot of that is epoxy already but there is there will be some wood in there that uh, would be bare. So that's another little job done. It just all means I'm just setting things up so that when I do get the epoxy out I can just do all the jobs in one go rather than having to keep mixing epoxy time and time again. So what can I do today? Well, my thought was I'd just try and get the boat back the right way up again and um, I'll just try and do some jobs inside the hull. Perhaps fairing, lightly sanding the inside and potentially put some fairing compound in any areas that look like they need it on the inside. So the next time I come back, the whole thing can be sanded and then the time after that, it'll be ready for painting. So um, that's my plan. I could potentially glue on um, the rowlock pads, so uh, so the blocks then will get um, glued to the side of the hull, just slightly lower than the top, and then these will get screwed on, and then um, that'll be for rowing. So I could potentially get these glued on today. Um, let's see how it goes. Okay, so that's the end of another episode. I managed to get the fairing down both sides of the keel and I thought with the fast cure, the epoxy activator, that would have gone off overnight, but it didn't. It was still a bit soft this morning, so I've had to leave that, couldn't sand it. Um, so I flipped the boat over and I've been looking for jobs that I can do on this side. So um, I've glued on the roll-up blocks. I had to give them a little bit of sand first. So those are now glued in place and I've also filled in the holes which are in the forward and aft uh, section which I used to put the screws through to hold the keel in position while it dropped, while, it, uh, while the epoxy cured. Um, so 13 holes in all. So uh, I used a very fine paintbrush to make sure I got some in there, the epoxy um, and painted that into the bottom of the holes. Um, so started a little bit of sanding and I think next time I'm going to concentrate on sanding. More sanding, sanding, sanding. Just get the, uh, the epoxy ready for the first primer. So um, 
it's probably going to be a couple of episodes away before I start putting the paint on, but I've got the paint now uh, and I've got the trailer sorted. So two new suspension units went on this episode, so that was good. And um, so, yeah, that's it. When I get the, uh, the new rigging for the, the new two pieces of rigging I need for the laser for the, the reef, I can put the reef on and then get it on the trailer and take it for a sail, see if that all works. And once I'm happy that works, I can then transfer all the bits to the boat. But I think I'll probably paint the boat first um, and then transfer the bits on afterwards. So, uh, right, that's it. If you've enjoyed watching, then please leave a like, click subscribe. And if you'd like to get notifications when the next video comes out, just click on the little bell there next to subscribe and uh, it'll send you an email when the new episode comes out. So thanks for watching. See you next time.